Hi friends, welcome to our YouTube channel Page Potato. I'm Piyush and I work at Page Potato and I help my clients with uh, their websites and content marketing. And most of our clients are startups. So um, uh, today we'll see about uh, the software Atomic Email Hunter. And this software is extremely useful if you are into um, content marketing um, or, or say email outreach. Um, because you need a lot of emails from uh, various um, companies from various industries uh, in your domain and um, and this software works really well and I'll show you why it is one of the uh, better softwares uh, available than in the market um, before I go in the video I would like to tell you that I have not been paid for this um, for this video or, or, or any kind of sponsorship um, this is just because I felt I should share with you and I really like this software and that's why I'm sharing with you hmm um, so uh, you can uh, let's let's see about uh, Atomic uh, Email Hunter. Uh, this is the website which you can go and you will find uh, Atomic Email Hunter. You can also download its free trial. The free trial version is uh, really nice um, because it gives you the opportunity to work as you are you you are working on a on a paid version. But until 50 uh, emails, you can extract that ways, and after that. Uh, it tells you that you have to register. So, but still, uh, it will, it will, it's damn easy to get demonstrated about how it works. Let me close my uh, my picture so it's uh, more clear. Yeah. So, um, yeah, this is the this is the website. This is how the website looks like. And there is a small video as well, which you can see and um, and uh, get an idea. Uh, this is around seventy dollars. 70 euros for me, but dollar it will be around 80 or something right now. Yeah, and uh, so once you have downloaded it, and the download is pretty simple, uh, there'll be a, there'll be a desktop um, icon there, and you can open it, and it'll open like this. So um, this is how the software looks like. Once you start the the, uh, the search, the, your emails will be coming here, and which you can download. Here they will tell you how how many URLs are found and how many have been processed and skipped. And here there are menu sections uh, which are hidden right now because of my screen capture uh, software. Um, so this is search, export, results, uh, resource, results, tools, settings, and help. Um, and this is start, pause, stop, location selection. You can set the locations um, to any country uh, depending on what you want, uh, from where you want your email IDs. Uh, a good feature is this, you can extract your email IDs from your own LinkedIn contacts or Yelp or Craigslist. Yeah, when you click this, they will ask you your passwords and username and that's it. And just click on it and it will start. I'll demonstrate it. Uh, the important thing is this, this setting part. Uh, the setting part because uh, the, more, uh, the more closed filter you put here, uh, the precise your search will be. Uh, before I take you this, I'll tell you what example I'm going. If you are doing an outreach campaign uh, in your digital marketing uh, strategy, then um, one of the one of the smart ways, but it is not it's not too new. It's very it's been there for years now, is to say, is to have some scholarships on your website, uh, and um, those scholarships you can send to uh, financial uh, aid officers of universities with a request that uh, they can put this uh, put the link of your website on your on their own .edu websites. So let's see how we can find out some really nice uh, email IDs uh, for your sponsorship campaign. Go on settings and common settings. This, this is the ribbon you find here. Um, you don't need to um, worry too much about this connection. Uh, this is configuration weak computer, average computer or powerful computer. It depends on uh, if you want to do a parallel work uh, while it is searching email IDs for you, then you can put on weak computer because uh, it'll, it'll take less bandwidth of your computer. Or else if you're doing it at night and you want to sleep and just uh, let the emails be extracted. So put on powerful computer. If you go on the advanced settings, this is important because um, never extract these are now uh, let it be whatever they are. But this is important. Email addresses must have same domain as the site URL. So uh, if you want only official email IDs, then this should be ticked um, uh, because uh, I believe uh, all the financial official officer email IDs will be should be uh, official IDs. So I'm clicking on this for my my search. URL filter. I'm. Uh, it's giving me uh, an option to to give a filter to my URL name, and I want only .edu website. So I will put star .edu star, and you can put like, if, for example, if you wanted only .in website, then .in, or for example, if you 
if you want your website to have a name like university in it then just write university university and star and something like that but right now i'm just putting on dot edu email filters um in my experience most of the financial aid officers have email ids like fin aid and sfs so i have put like this fin aid at the rate and sfs at the rate so only email ids which have this name in them will be filtered preferred countries i have checkmarked all the countries uh, but you can always like for for america or africa choose one country uh, i'm choosing all mm, proxy setting if you are using a, a, a proxy a default proxy setting or maybe a vpn then um, uh, you can fill those uh, details uh, additional data additional data what are the data what is the data you want because when when the search is on you will find these uh, let me show you you will find these uh, this this column list email address owner url keywords page title expected country i am uh, removing owner because i don't want owners uh, as um, in the official ids they don't tell me who is the owner of uh, this email id they just mention the email ids yeah so all this is done i'm clicking on ok cool so now uh, let's see what happens um, if i put here uh, this has a search by keyword search by url and search by url or keyword i'm just putting the keywords that would mean that search only pages which have student financial aid as a content mentioned on that page so basically i'm giving him i'm giving the software three filters one is student financial aid other is the setting which we did just now which was uh, one was url filter and one was one was email filter so uh, let's see i will start now and uh, uh, yeah right location now okay i will wait that's it so now see here uh, in this section um, let me show you here this results found url explored and url processed uh, so these are the urls found and these many have been processed and three results have been found you can see uh, i am only getting fin aid because of my filter and .edu websites uh, this is the url from where they have found the email id uh, this is the keyword which we have used this is the page title the page title i have kept because it also has university names what i'll do is uh, i'll download this uh, export if you click on export because right now it's it's working but uh, when i stop this it will show me uh, this export to excel i will export exp export it to excel file and then delete these parts and just keep the university name there because when i'll design my email chimp campaign i will put some customized uh, uh, customized tags uh, which will suck in the university names uh, so that when somebody opens their email id the email will look very customized so now you can see it is extracting all those email IDs according to my filter. So maybe in an hour or so, I'll have around 500 to 600 authentic email IDs, right? All are EDU and all are SFS and financial aid. Yeah, I'm pausing it uh, right now. Uh, so when I pause it, uh, you'll see I can export it uh, to Excel as well. Uh, yeah, this was this was the email ID list, but and I'm stopping it right now. It always says this. It, it takes some time to to process the stopping. Now I will show you how these things work. So, for example, if I click on LinkedIn, then uh, uh, in LinkedIn, uh, if you click on author authorization, it will show you the username and password. Just enter the username and password, and the same thing now. Mm, so I've already done my uh, authorization. And for example, if I'm giving SEO as a keyword and maybe I'm searching in India, then let's see if I start. What happens? Now it's extracting email IDs from my uh, from my LinkedIn. So see here, this is the your email IDs are here. It's still searching for email IDs, uh, but it has found URLs like this. Uh, the keyword is SEO. It's still searching. So on this URL, it's trying to search if there is an email ID mentioned. Now see here. Yeah, it would be a good um, uh, good thing uh, if you can clear up those search because maybe it's searching for .edu and all those as well. Um, so it's always, but I don't think so. LinkedIn is an independent search, but still, uh, if I would be doing it, I will close. Uh, I will clean up the search. 
so yeah this is how uh, this is how and then and, and it's searching but it will give me i've already tested it it, it will give me uh, very useful email ids according to the industry uh, even from craigslist and linkedin and yelp so cool um, let me know in the comments how you like the like the video if you have any specific questions uh, and put them in in comments and i will try to answer them specifically for you so this was atomic email hunter hope you like the video in next videos we will be talking about more tools which are useful for content marketing and of, of course website, website development as well um, see you next time then bye bye